In this video, I'm going to show you three mobile apps that can help you in your IELTS practice as well as help you pass IELTS once and for all. So if you are interested in this video, then come with me. Welcome back. Well, I'm using the Android phone and uh, what we have to do here is to go to Play Store. You click on your Play Store app and you just have to type in the search button IELTS. And then press the search button. So now there are quite a lot of mobile apps to help you prepare for the IELTS. So here I'm going to show you the right ones to download onto your phone. So let's start. So the first one I would want to recommend to you is the IELTS Prep app. So click on that and then let's install. So this app tells you, I mean it's a conglomeration of all the four aspects of the IELTS. It gives you tips and techniques you have to um, inculcate to pass the IELTS once and for all. It also tells you the various formats of the um, individual test you will be sitting for, like the listening test, the reading test, the speaking test and the writing test. So once this app is downloaded on your phone, all you have to do is that you've got tons of information in there to help you um, sail through the IELTS journey successfully. So now it has finished installing. So what you have to do is to open it and then I would want to um, show you something very, very important. So it's an app made by the British Council. So um, this should tell you that it's an authentic app and you can really follow through. So now welcome to IELTS Prep app. So this is the IELTS preparation app. So all you have to do is that um, let's keep... Let's get started. Okay, so now all you have to do here is to input your details. You are going to sign up for this app. So I'm going to put my name here and then I'll put my email and my password. Um, don't mind me, my password is quite long. Let me hide it. And uh, you just have to agree to their terms and policies and you click on sign up. Let's see what happens. So what they saying is that my password must contain at least one special character. So let me go and adjust my password really quick. Let me just add something to it to make it a little more formal. All right, so I'm signing up for this app. Now, let's get started. British Council would like to use the information you provide to send details of activities, services and events, including social events, which we think are of interest. We will process your personal information based on your consent. If you prefer to give your consent to the British Council to send you information with regards to social events and other activities, then you have to click on yes, I would like to receive details. If you are not interested, you just click on no. And now, we are ready to use the app. Now, you can explore the app and I believe that you later come back and then um, thank me. Because um, this will be very, very helpful to you. If you don't know how to use the app, the first option here is how to use this app. Just have to click on that. And then um, it tells you um, how to maneuver your way through the app. Now, if you know how to use the app and I uh, want detailed information about IELTS, you just have to press on about IELTS. And it tells you a lot about IELTS. What is IELTS? What IELTS should I take? Um, how IELTS is called? I mean, you just have to get to know all this before your examination time is due. And then IELTS test sessions. Okay. Prepare for IELTS. There are tons of information here that would go a long way to help you prepare for your IELTS. Now, I want us to go back to Play Store and uh, I'll show you the second and as well as third and fourth app you need to actually maneuver your way through success so far as IELTS is concerned. So, let's go back to Play Store. Let's go back. And uh, so, this is the first app you downloaded, which is the IELTS Prep app. So, to get the other apps that have been prepared by the British Council, all you have to do is to once again click on the IELTS Prep app. Now, once that is done, we know we have already installed that and uh, we are not ready to open it now. So, just scroll down and uh, we are going to search for um, other apps that are in relation to the British Council. So, you can see here we have Learn English Grammar, Learn English Sounds Right, Learn English Podcast. These are basically additional three apps that are necessary for your IELTS practice. So the first app, which is the Learn English Grammar, is the app for IELTS takers um, who do not have mastery over the grammar of English language. 
and the grammar is actually the rules and regulations you have to follow so why do we say he is a boy i mean you should get to understand the rationale behind that so if you are not good at the grammar the tenses uh, actually the subject verb agreement the conditional sentences and the others then this is the app for you you should download this now and start i mean getting yourself abreast with the grammar and the second one here has to do with learning english sounds right if you have problem pronouncing some english words because um, that can go against you when it comes to the speaking test you see with the speaking test one of the criteria for um, getting the required band score is your pronunciation. If you're unable to pronounce the words right, it goes against you. It reduces the band score that is required of you. And then um, we have the third one, which is the Learn English Podcast. Probably this third app by the British Council is good for the IELTS listening test. Basically, you see, you should train your ear to actually listen to a lot of information, being it podcast news um television programs in english and a whole lot of that you see to be able to familiarize yourself and get yourself abreast with the listening test you should as much as possible listen to podcasts and uh um, there are a lot of podcasts in here i mean in this app that will go a long way to help you so what i did was i had this app on my phone anytime i'm going to work or i'm moving about i just have to plug in my um, headset and i listen to i mean information on probably agriculture education and a whole lot of that that trained me to be able to um, conquer the listening test once and for all and in that i was able to get 8.5 in the listening test so um the second app i would want us to download here is the um, learn english podcast basically if you have issues with grammar then go for the learn english grammar if you have issues with uh, pronunciation of words then you have to go for learn english sounds right so for me i felt i wasn't having any issue with regards to the grammar so i only resorted to um, downloading the learn english podcast which you are going to download now so now you click on install So once we install the app, you can see that there are other options here for you to download. I mean, there are quite a lot of them. And I'm not saying that um, it's only the British Council's um, apps that are very good. There are other good apps there you can explore. Actually, you can just try and then download them and uh, open them up. If they are not befitting, then you can um, actually delete them or, or do whatever you want to do with them. Okay. So now there are quite a lot of them. You learn English sounds right. We've talked about that already. And then learn English with Johnny. So I don't actually know much about this app. But... Um, since the learn english podcast has finished downloading i would want us to open it so that we explore i think we also have to sign up so you can see that um, there are quite a lot of um, podcasts if you don't know what podcast is podcast is like an audio version of a conversation probably um about agriculture education on any other topic i mean a recorded audio version okay and you know with the listening you are going to listen to a conversation from different people with different accents and as a matter of fact you should be able to um listen to a lot of audio conversations from different people um to get yourself abreast with the um accent so i would want us to click on the first one here and uh, let's look at what is in here so the first podcast is five tips for a successful so let me download that and let's see I prefer to probably teach by example so i'm going to show you how this can help you pass the um ielts listening test hello i'm tony grant the host of learn english podcast new series learn english from home this series features regular so you can see that um this is actually how the podcast looks like it's an audio um conversation and you know one important thing about this app is that you see, once the speaker communicates the words are highlighted for you to see where um he or she is you know so you are able to follow through listen to how the words are pronounced and as a matter of fact um engage the accent so this helps you in the listening test and as well as even the speaking test um yeah so this is very helpful if you are interested i mean just keep it on your phone and uh, if you are probably in the kitchen or if you are um, working from home to work, you can just plug in your earphone or headset and then listen to at least one or two of them. You see, train your ear. Once I started to write IELTS, I started training my ear for um, some of these things because I knew that with the listening test, I'll be going to, I mean, I'll be having a headset, I'll be listening to a conversation through a headset. So I started writing from my practice session and I could train my ear to any accent that um, I came across. So... If you don't want to waste away money, time, and energy, then I think it's the time to train yourself with podcasts, with audio conversations, with other important English, I mean, audios that you think can help you with your practice, you know.
short podcast to help those of you who have to stay at home because of COVID-19 to spend a little bit of time learning English every day. In each episode, we'll give a short talk on a theme, and during the talk, I'll explore a few interesting words. So basically, there's an app. If you're interested, just have it on your phone, and I believe that it will go a long way to help you. You see, vocabulary is one of the important aspects when it comes to the IELTS. You see, you need vocabulary in your speaking test, you need vocabulary in your reading test, you need vocabulary in your writing test, you know. And this app did help me a lot in the sense that um, it actually gave me some vocabularies pertaining to certain niches. For instance, if you take education, I mean, if you have an essay on education, there are certain key terms of vocabulary you have to use, like um, educational policies, like um, curriculum, extracurricular activities. Secondary school, primary school, um, textbooks. I mean, those are keywords that pertain to education. When you go into agriculture, we have farmers, we have cattle. I mean, those are some of the keywords or vocabularies that will help you express yourself freely. So I had that app that did help me um, achieve that. So let me see if I can get it here. Um, it's been a long time. Let me see if I can get that app here. Well, I'm not seeing it. So what I'll do is that I'll search for it and then um, put the name in the description box. So if you're watching this video and you're interested in getting this app, then um, go to my description box and uh, you'll get to know the name of the app, which you can download. Um, thank you very much for having time to watch this video. I believe that it will go a long way to help you. And my advice is that don't only focus on the apps. I mean, they are just to support you, you understand? They are just to help you, I mean, have a start of the IELTS practice. Don't ever think that having these apps alone is enough to help you pass IELTS. I mean, I would say that this app is just one out of hundred of, I mean, whatever I have to do to pass IELTS. If you have not subscribed to this channel, I'll be very happy if you can click on the subscribe button right under this video so that I become part of the family. I share my experience with regards to IELTS, nursing abroad, and uh, any other information I believe will add value to your life. And also make it a point to share this video to as many people and on all platforms. And like as well. See you in my next video.